Hey there folks, it's Antar, and I've got a little cup battle for you today. My opponent is That's My Latios, who I found on the Natudes at. I think you could probably find him there too. He's there quite often, at least as far as I've been able to tell. He's a cool guy, I think I've battled him before, and yeah. So anyway, looking at his team, I figure I actually do want to set up Rock's first turn. And so I lead off with my Dwebble. Even though I don't usually do that, I usually would. It looks like I'm leading off with my Dwebble, it's actually my Zorua. But here is Dwebble. Uh, I'm really grateful he went for the sub rather than going for the flash. Cannon. I send in Chin Chow knowing that there's probably nothing he can do to me and uh, you know I'm a, I'm a special wall so I'm gonna take those hits quite well. He's gonna go ahead and flash cannon again. I'm actually wondering what his fourth move is so it's sub, thunderbolt most likely, uh, flash cannon and I'm just not sure what the fourth move is. So anyway I'm gonna go ahead and stall just to break his sub. He got the defense drop and I'm a little bit concerned about that. But I think I figure there's nothing he's going to do against me, and he's going to switch out anyway. So might as well see who's, who he's going to switch out. He sends out Timber, and that is not good because if that skull were to burn, I would be screwed. Anyway, it doesn't happen. So I go. I get a free switch into Timber. No, sorry. I get my free switch into my Dark Smoke Puncher, my Ghastly, and I take him out with a Shadow Ball uh, as he goes for the Drain Punch. And uh, anyway, next out for him is going to be Growlithe, and I'm thinking, why are you sending out Growlithe? And, uh, but then I see that, oh, he's Scarfed. I was actually basically testing to see if he was Scarfed, and I knew that I really didn't have anyone who could take a player. Well, I guess, actually, Chin could take a player. Let's, but I didn't want to do any overprediction, and Ghastly had done its job dig taking care of Timber. So anyway, Chin Chow is back out. As he sends out Magnemite, I'm not sure why you would send Magnemite into my Chin Chow. I get a crit with this Ice Beam, but it really does not matter. Okay, maybe he could have uh, set up another sub, but I would have just broken it the next turn anyway. So, he's got a life orb, he's losing health, I go ahead and scald and take out the Magnemite and that's great for me. Uh, anyway, now I offer him is going to be Krogunk, he has the free switch into Krogunk, and I'm just like, okay, well I think I can take a hit or two from him. Um, that Dark Pulse does a lot more than I really feel comfortable with, but I'm going to go ahead and Thunderbolt and that does a lot of damage, I think I can take one attack from him, so anyway. Stay in, go for the Thunderbolt, he sends out Pharaoh Seed, and Thunderbolt is obviously not going to do anything. I'm going to have to be forced to switch out, and I go ahead and send out Mila, thinking that he might want to set up Entry Hazards. Uh, he doesn't, and just goes for the switch into Growlithe, and I'm thinking, okay, well, I don't know if I can take an attack from this guy without my screens up, so I'm going to go ahead and send out Hermione basically as death fodder. He goes ahead and goes for the Flare Blitz. It, I actually survive with 6 HP, which is quite nice, um, but I'm going to die here to another Flare Blitz, but it's going to be a double down. Basically, I just let him kill himself with the recoil damage. So that's great. I've, I don't have to worry about that Growlithe anymore. Uh, out is going to come Krogunk. Uh, again, I'm going to send out Chin Chow, and I'm going to go ahead and actually swap out into Neela, predicting him to go for the Fake Out, and indeed he does go for the Fake Out. And I know I'm faster. Oh, he goes ahead and sucker punches, which is awesome because that means I get a free light screen up. And so I am happy here. So I go ahead and set up a reflect now as he goes for the dark pulse. And I'm just hoping that I can survive. And indeed, I survive with 4 HP, which is quite nice. And I said, I'm just going to let Neela die. He goes for the mock punch, thinking that he could take me out before I took him out. But I wasn't going to go for an attacking move. I just went for wish. He would have been much better off dark pulsing considering I, you know, 4x resisted and I had the reflect up. So anyway, Pharisee is back out, gonna want to switch out into Bernie, my Cyndaquil. Bullet Seeds are going to hit, do 1 HP of damage each, and so I'm in a pretty good situation. Now I'm predicting, I'm predicting that he'll probably switch, oh and I'm back up to full HP, thanks to that wish. Um, you know, he's, the sl switching to Slowpoke is quite obvious, but I really didn't want to overpredict. and Eruption is still going to do massive, massive amounts of damage at that range of health, and as you can see, it does about a third. That's really pretty darn good. So now I'm going to switch out into my Chin Chow. He's going to go for the Scald, and it's really not going to do very much against me. i got to worry about residual damage. Oh yeah, that was a crit, by the way. Uh, so here, the switch into Ferris is quite obvious, but I'm, at this point, I don't really feel the need to overpredict. Uh, so I'm just staying the course, I'm just uh, doing basically zero level moves, um, and here this is the great thing, I just wanted to free switch into someone else. Bullet Punch rounded down. I did not know that the game did this. Bullet Punch did zero damage on each hit. I, he could not believe that when I told him, but 4x, or okay, 2x resist, plus a reflect is up, that's just hilarious. I go for the wish now, uh, expecting to die. But I don't, I go ahead and U-turn out, isn't going to really do anything to Slowpoke. 
but now whoever I send out is going to get all its health back. I go ahead and send out Cyndaquil. Uh, he goes for the Scald. It's not actually my Cyndaquil. I'm not that stupid. It's my Zoroa. I wasn't going for the Illusion. It's just that uh, considering the two Pokemon he has left, my uh, Zoroa is going to be the best counter for them both. I go for the Nasty Plot on the Switch, and I'm going to be able to get off a super effective hidden power fighting to take out this uh, Thero Seed, and then I've got Dark... Sorry, not Dark Pulse. Um, Night Days to take out Slowpoke, so this really is the end of the battle. So, bye-bye, Slowpoke. And yeah, there it goes, and that is good game. So, great game, that's my Latios. I love my little cup team, and I love little cup. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.